What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with SCW and today we got a nice day trading recap here with a super important lesson. Check it out. All right guys, so today uh, opened up very promising. You know, we had a, ga a little a little gap down here on the SPY. Uh, it was starting to grind upwards holding VWAP and out of nowhere, boom. I think there was some headlines about some possible UK tariffs. Boom, you know, and it just it just came down. And it brought down a lot of stuff with it, you know. I was watching a few stocks this morning. CTIB was one of them. Uh, CTIB, whoops, CTIB uh, was one of them. But big gap up from $2 and change all the way up here to $5.97 high of day. But then, I mean, the chart says it all, right? Uh, I was also watching uh, KBSF. And there you go. That's that. Small caps just haven't been what they were. Uh, IBIO was on my watch list as well. There you go. Uh, there was one small cap that made a nice move. There you go. Didn't partake in this one. Uh, kind of probably because I was uh, in another trade while this was happening. And uh, then I was just heartbroken from my trade. I'm sitting on a green day. We're going to go over that. Could have been a huge day, like absolutely huge day. But it turns out to be a very small uh, a green day, a base hit green day. So we're going to go over that with the live trade. Uh, but this is a real nice setup here. You know, you had the big push, nice continuous increase in volume, pullback with decreasing volume right into VWAP. Okay, right into VWAP and this previous little high right here. Uh, then on each pop, you had increase in volume until you got this 90 MA VWAP crossover, which boom, you know, look at this huge volume that stepped into SINT. SINT has 11 million shares in the float, 11.8 million shares in the float, and uh, it just took off. Uh, it would have been nice to have been in on this right here in this 180 area, you know, stop just right underneath. Golly, man, you know, it would have had like a 10, 15 cent risk on this trade here. Could have taken a few thousand shares. Boom, would have been a monster win. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I did have, I had one really, really good trade. My entries were perfect. My plan was sound. It triggered. I put out an order on the ask. It didn't make it to my order by a few cents. And then out of nowhere, well, out of nowhere, I saw something on the uh, level two in time and sales that said, hey, this is going to get ugly and it's going to get red. And it's going to get really red really fast. And uh, that signal was super easy to to like pick up on. It's not something that you would just pick up on from one day to the next. It takes time, you know, screen time to catch that, you know, to see it out of your peripheral vision. And then boom, we're like, OK, well, I got to get out of here. And even then I still fumbled my exits. Uh, I could have exited with a much better uh, profit than I did kind of like yesterday where I exited with a nice, you know, five hundred dollar winner. Uh, today, I didn't exit with that much. I exited with a base hit. So uh, we're going to go over that live trade. And like I said, it's very easy to pick up on it. It's not as easy as smashing the like button, though. So do me a quick favor and smash that like button for me right now. Uh, this is a real nice bull flag setup that's forming here, but there's nothing else there for me to jump in there on a trade. You know, you could jump in there, say, uh, with the stop underneath this 230 area. But uh, that's all that's there. It's just the, the, the bull flag setup. There's nothing else that I see there. So no trade for me on this. Uh, remember to check out the links in the description section below. You got the scanners to uh, trade ideas. You have 15% off coupon code on that with my link down there and the coupon code. You also have Weeble. You download the app. Fund your account with 100 bucks. You get two free stocks valued between 12 to $1,400. First trade, you just download the app, open an account. Uh, with that one and uh, you get one free stock so you get three free stocks if you do those two apps and on first trade you don't even need to fund the account now let's go ahead and jump into my trade my trade i'm just i'm not even gonna pretend i'm pretty i'm pretty dang sad with this trade because it was gorgeous Ugh. first let's go look at the at the daily on nkla you know this is where i made my money yesterday the high of this candle right here is $73 and change, okay? That's the high of that candle. The high of this other candle up here is about $77 or so, okay? So, man, <laughs> my plan was on point. So, 
you know I traded this yesterday and you know you remember my plan yesterday I made good money and part of my plan yesterday was to hold for a swing I still have some call options that I'm holding for a swing here uh, I'm doing those actually in my Robinhood account just for fun I had no money in that account but I transferred some money yesterday just to take that I took two contracts uh, my average is three dollars and sixty five cents their July expiration seventy five dollar strike okay and I've had those up over six dollars and I didn't sell because I you know they're so far ahead July 10th expiration that I'm gonna give that some time to 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 move to to do its thing because guys I, this thing we break over 77 and it's gone you know it's gone uh, this this is gonna potentially has great potential for a squeeze if we can continue to hold this pattern and the squeeze is gonna be gargantuan it's I mean we're talking about you know, I'm not going to sell one of those contracts until over 80, probably. And then the other one I'm going to hold for a break over 100. That's my plan. Uh, otherwise, you know, it'll be a little loss there, but uh, or a break even trade. Who knows? But yeah, this this thing has a lot of potential. So I'm going to hold those two contracts for that. Yesterday, I day traded this and I had plans to swing trade part of my day trade. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. It's pretty long. It's 20 minutes long, but it's great. Good, good information. You're going to want to check it out. It's yesterday's video. All right. So today. I said, okay, if we, and this is my plan since last night, like I want to sleep last night thinking about this. If we pull in out of the bill to $73 and hold, I'm going to get long this NKLA. Probably not as deep as yesterday. I thought, I, th I said to myself, I'm not going to grab 500 shares again, or even more than that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do three to 400 shares. That was my plan. So right out of the bill, we, you know, we had a small gap down along with the market. We stuck it right there at 73. And as we were coming down, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say I waited to 73. As we were coming down right here in the 74 area, I picked up 50 shares, a feeler, starter, 50 shares, that's it. And I wanted to add into the, the you know, the, the, the flush to 73. If we hold, that's what I'm really going to add. And that's what I did. I really, really added in this candle right here and went full size to 300 shares. Well, not full size. Full size would have been 500 shares. Full size in this case for today's plan, 300 shares. And when we had this big push and this huge push up here to 76.30, I was salivating at the profits that were coming. I put out an order to sell 100 shares at $77. We hit 76.30 and look at that dump. Look at that rejection. Boom. All the way back down here to a new low day of 69.70. Such a heartbreak. Such a heartbreak because this... If we would have, you know, boom, 77 or even 80, pulled back to 75.50, held this, consolidated, we would have broken over 80 today and probably made a push to 90. This would have been, you know, we're talking about 300 shares. I was going to sell 100 at 77. Okay, I was going to hold those other 200. I knew that this was a potential over $2,000 gain. And it would have, it would have came. We would have, we would have, we would have gotten it. But, you know, that's what happened. Let me grab this live trade here for you. And then I'm going to show you within the live trade, why this failed and why I you know, was like fast enough to stop out of this with, uh, with profit. Now I could have stopped out of this with much bigger profit and I kept trying, but I didn't realize I was still on my limit here. I had a 77, I, I was still putting out 77 limit orders instead of marketing out how I was trying. So that was a heartbreak in itself. Let me grab this one. see here is it this one okay so here we go it is this one this is where I enter this is seven minute little recording oh okay so you don't get to see here uh, my initial entry my initial entry was 50 here about another 50 here and then I kept adding and I keep adding so you'll see more ads come in to play here okay we hold that 73 we just get bought right back up we couldn't break it even on that big volume so I was like you know what this is it this is what we wanted this is what I'm here for so right around here I had 50 more boom 200 shares just bringing my cost basis down 73 77 gorgeous cost basis you know I went to 300 shares because I only had like an 80 cent risk on this it's like yeah for sure we're gonna jump on on this Right there, I add another 50. 73, 72 is my new cost basis. And right there, I add another 50. Boom. Because it's looking like we're going to go. You know, so I'm 73, 74 cost basis. And now I'm looking for that big push. I looked at the SPY. 
spy was going was was pushing i was like yes let's do this and kla starts to push red to green move right there bang we're in 300 shares still 73 74 cost basis we're going off at 74.85 looking for that push up to over seven new highs boom we break yesterday's high. look at that i'm up i'm up look at that guy 76 dollars from 73 look look what i'm doing right there i'm putting an I'm getting ready to put a $77 limit order to sell 100. I put out that limit order. I'm up over 700 bucks, unrealized. And then all of a sudden, watch this. Well, we have a bunch of sellers here. 5,000, 5,000, 3,000, 5,000. Let's see if we can catch... Where the dump starts. The dump starts right there. Watch. Look at this rejection. Look at that. All the way back down to 75. Look at these sellers, guys. 10,500 shares. This is one dude just splitting up his orders. 10,500, 10,500, 10,409. You know, all at 75 and change. Party pooper to the max. 8,000 got taken out, 10,000 still here, 4,000, 5,000. Look at that. Look at that action. Meanwhile, I'm clicking the sell button trying to get out of these, you know, for a nice take profit at the minimum. But I fumble it because I'm on limit order instead of being on market order. So then, let me see here. Boom, we're in there. I still haven't figured out that I'm on limit order instead of market. So I'm like, all right, if we hold 74.50, you know, I'll stay in these. Start to break under those. I get rid of 100. Still have 200 shares. I'm like, you know, I'm thinking to myself, look, at, look I put my cursor over it. 75, 10, 14,430 shares. And then down here, 75, uh, 83, you got 10,000 shares. And you got 8,000, 4,000, so many shares. But I'm thinking, you know, if we hold the 74.50 like we held the 73, we might just get some other shorts to start to cover their position. And, you know, boom, we're gone. But nah, no dice. No dice. 14,000 shares on the ask. You know, another 10,000 over there. You know, you got so many shares on the ask here at these levels. I get rid of another 100. And then... I say, okay, if we hold, you know, that 74 area, I'll hold on to these hundreds. And maybe this, this will be an all-day hold, you know? That's what I thought to myself. But we don't. Right there, I get rid of those. Boom, and I'm out. And that was it. That was it. And then NKLA just, you know imploded on itself as the spy implodes on itself so does mkla such a shame such a shame because it had such potential such great potential for a massive day trade win here uh, i'm still going to hold on to those calls because they're you know like i said they're july expiration july 10th expiration so i'm still hold on to those calls uh, and i'll keep mkla on watch as long as mkla is within this pattern i'm going to be watching it for adding to swing trade or or day trades as well you know I'll, tomorrow morning as long as nkla is in this in this range tomorrow morning i will come in and i will look to see if there's a potential day trade on nkla because if i can catch an nkla day trade managing my risk how i'm managing it here getting in on these really good entries the 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 the, the risk reward is, is is huge you know i'm risking a dollar maybe two dollars on some of these trades you know Two dollars in change at max for the shot at 10 15 20 dollars a share of wins so i'm going to keep watching this and uh, believe me i rather get a little boring in the trading and make a massive win versus going out there and playing with you know junk like 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 this that's done absolutely nothing you know nah i'm about making money i'm not about uh the hype of you know, small cap. You guys have seen me. Small caps were hot the other day. What was I trading? Small caps. Before that, what was I trading? Options. What am I trading now? NKLA. I go where the money's at. And that's what we're supposed to do as traders. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video. And I'll catch you 
on the next one.